I finally finished creating my 2023 fall luxury wish list and I thought it'd be a good idea to share the items that I have on it with you ladies. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the items that I have on my wish list into categories. My reason for breaking them down is so that I don't get carried away with adding things that I'm never gonna buy. So my first bag is going to be the YSL Kate bag. It's not a new bag. I've wanted this bag for a really, really long time. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. One reason is because it looks rather small on the inside and I like to make sure that my cell phone my wallet and my keys can fit however this bag is very structured and it's something that will go really well with the majority in my wardrobe what I'm expecting to get is either the black with gold hardware or the black on black either one is fine I do wear a lot of gold I'm not a silver girl if I do wear silver it's sporadic so for me black on gold or black on black. YSO has really nice leather. I'm a girl who will always go for quality over quantity, which is why I don't have a ton of stuff in here. I like to be careful when I'm buying things, and I also like to make sure that I'm wearing my items more than one time, as opposed to just buying something and having it just sit here. The second bag is the Loewe Puzzle Bag. Now hear me out, I wasn't interested in this bag for a long time because it just seemed too small for my frame. I am six feet tall, and you guys already know how I feel about really small bags on tall women. It just does not look good in my opinion. So I would recommend getting some bigger. So for me and my style, I looked at the medium size, which is kind of big, but I think it'll go well with my height and not really look out of place when I'm carrying it. The color that I absolutely love is the sand color. You guys are gonna notice a color palette in here, but that sand color is absolutely beautiful. I also like the black one, but I would prefer getting the sand color first because I have a lot of ivories and creams in my wardrobe and I think it'll go really really well. So the Loewe puzzle bag in sand medium size is the second thing on my luxury wish list. For you ladies who like the mini bag of the puzzle bag, those are fine as well. If you are, I want to say 5'9 and under, you know what, let me, let me, let me scratch that. I also have big hands. <laughs> So for me, if I wear something that is too tiny and my hands look bigger than the back, I just can't do it. So if you are tall, but you have like more of like dainty hands, you may be okay with it. But your girl has really big hands, like her mom. So for me, a bigger bag would be perfect. It doesn't have to be like really large, but it definitely has to be bigger than my hand. <laughs> if I feel like my hand is overpowering the bag, I'm just not gonna do it. Maybe if it has like a, maybe if it's longer possibly, but not super small where my hands are gonna overpower the bag. The other bag is the Fendi Peekaboo ICU bag. This bag is gorgeous in my opinion. It's very sleek. It doesn't have a ton of logos on it and I absolutely love her. I did go into a store and try this bag on and it's very much so my style and my speed of a bag. It's very classy and I know I'm gonna have it for a really long time. So if I decide to change my wardrobe up just a bit as far as like color wise, I'm still gonna be able to wear this bag because it's a neutral color. This is their beige color. It's very light in color. It's, it looks lighter than a regular beige but I absolutely love it. For my wardrobe aesthetic, this will be the perfect bag. And sticking with Fendi, the Fendi First Medium Size Clutch. Ladies, the way the F is on this bag at the top part is just super, super cute. And I still think it's very classy because it's still very subtle. I think they'll be around for a long time, but it's still a very classic clutch if that's something that you're into. You can go a little bit smaller if you want to, but this is the medium. And I don't mind the medium, but the small actually doesn't look bad either. So either one is fine, but I definitely need this bag in my wardrobe. I would be so happy to add it to my wall of bags and shoes. And I think it'll be a really good fit for my wardrobe and I would likely wear it a ton so I can get my cost per wear. You can definitely get your cost per wear out of things that are more classic in style. And that way you are not wasting your money and you're really, really maximizing 
the item <laughs> and getting your cost per wear. Let's get into outerwear. These three items are from the Frankie shop. And the first one is their Gaia double breasted coat. It was on my wish list for a while and I purchased it. So I am gonna do a separate video <laughs> for actually all three of the items that I'm gonna mention now. It's an oversized ivory color, like floor length wool coat. It is magnificent. If you are a girl who is six feet, I want to say 5'10 to like 6'2 you should be able to wear this coat it has shoulder pads if you're not into that then this may not be the jacket for you and it is a bit oversized around the waist area if you don't want something that's super oversized you can definitely go ahead and get your tailor to take in the waist if it's really not your style so the Frankie shop Gaia double breasted ivory coat is on my luxury list Sticking with the Frankie shop, two of the jackets that I wanted finally came back in stock and I had to purchase them. And the first one is the Titus cropped biker jacket. This jacket is super cute. Now it is a one size fit all jacket. Usually for my height, I can wear things at the Frankie shop that's one size fit all and that are oversized. So they're not gonna fit me like super oversized, but they're gonna fit me nice. So if you are smaller than me, it's definitely gonna be really long in the arms and really big in the body area. This jacket was out of stock for like a couple of months now, and the Frankie shop does a really good job at notifying their customers that an item is back in stock. So when I got the notification, your girl had to get it. <laughs> so this jacket is not considered luxury, but it's definitely going to make an impact in my closet and I bought that jacket and I also bought the other moto jacket which is their Chicago oversized moto jacket. This jacket is a little bit different from the other one that I got. Now I already own a Frankie shop moto jacket which is the Aria moto jacket but that's like typical it has a belt and stuff. This one is longer in style giving me almost like a blazer style just a little bit because the bottom is like straight down. But if you are anything like me and love a little faux leather or leather anything, you are gonna wanna have multiple jackets in your arsenal of jackets, guys. So this is not considered luxury, but I think it's a really good item to have if you like to mix up your wardrobe. So for me, it was a win when it came back in stock. And you guys are gonna see a full review on all three of those jackets this week. So if you stayed this far in the video, make sure you are hitting that like button, guys. I will do more videos like this if you absolutely love them. The third category is going to be shoes. I have a few pair of shoes on here that were on my wish list for a while, and I just didn't pull the trigger. One of them being the Bottega Lug boots. And the reason why I hadn't pulled the trigger yet is because I have to try them on. Bottega shoes run really small, and your girl got some wide feet do have the boots in a women's size and a men's size i just don't know if they're really made different when it comes to the width but these boots are something that i can wear with skirts leggings i don't even wear leggings but you can wear it with leggings you can wear it with dresses tuli skirts tuli dress anything that is a little bit more feminine in style and then you have something a little bit more rugged at the bottom definitely with any of my moto jackets definitely with any of my full length wool jackets you can wear these boots. So these are considered luxury in my opinion because the price is not low. The other pair of shoes will be a sneaker. You, I don't know if you guys call them sneakers or running shoes, but it's the Loewe Flow Runner sneakers. I absolutely love these. I like this color. It is, it's considered gold and black. It looks more of like a tan color, guys. <laughs> but um, these sneakers fit really well with my wardrobe aesthetic color-wise. But these sneakers, I'm gonna pull the trigger once I try them on. I just wanna make sure that they're not super long on my feet. First thing you wanna do is buy a pair of sneakers and your feet hurt. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so the Loewe Flow Runner sneakers are another item that I want and that's on my luxury wish list for this fall. The last pair of shoes, well boots, will be the Jimmy Choo CC80 boots. Now you guys already know I bought the other ones that are thigh high. Absolutely love those boots. I'll pop in a picture for those as well. But I absolutely love those boots. Now these are lower in height. So I will probably be able to wear these a ton more. They do go up to a size 43. 
Jimmy Choo runs small. But the thing about these, I don't see them anymore in a size 43, so I'm waiting and waiting and hoping that they do come back in so I can nab them up. I can get these in my size. I'm definitely gonna be adding them to my closet, especially for this fall. Last part of my luxury wish list is accessories. The first luxury accessory that I want for this fall will be these Gucci oversized GG glasses. The reason why I like these with the green lens is because they're beautiful. So it'll be a nice pop of color with my ivory coat. It does have a gold frame which is absolutely beautiful. Now these do come in multiple colors as far as the frame. So if you don't want something as dark as these definitely go for the other colors. But I absolutely love the green color. It'll be a nice little pop to my wardrobe and I think that it'll be a good addition to my glasses collection. The second item is the Loewe Anagram Flat brow sunglasses they're rather big but I absolutely love these so they have a couple of pairs that I want a particular pair is something that's a little bit different from me but I actually think that it'll be a great addition to my sunglasses collection so this is why I added it to this list your girl is going to buy them <laughs> so that's the second item on my accessory list for my 2023 fall luxury wish list and the last thing would be this rustling begins at love it I'm hoping that they come out with it in red, but it's patent leather at the front and then it's leather on the top. Very simple. It doesn't have their logo on it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful hat. So something like this, I can wear a ton of ways because I'm not stuck with either the white RB or the gold RB. RB. I can wear a ton of ways. You do want something a little bit bigger in size, definitely just Bite the bullet and order it from their actual website and just wait for the hat. So those are the items that are on my 2023 fall luxury wish list. Again, everything is not super luxury, but it's something that I know would add value to my wardrobe. If you have been following me for a while and you listen to my videos, you're going to hear that I'm always talking about quality over quantity always, regardless of the designer, because sometimes it doesn't matter what the designer is, they sometimes carry cheap stuff okay so i'm also going to link each item that i actually mentioned in this video in the description box just in case you guys are interested in those i'll group them by sections i'm also going to link some of my blog posts for you ladies to check out if you are looking to create a stylish wardrobe or you just need some little inspiration or some style tips at your fingertips i'll link my blog below for you ladies and if you are interested in learning how to create a capsule wardrobe the right way and if you want to learn how to shop high low the absolute best way i'm going to link those digital products below as well thank you guys for tuning in if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc.com and my style services coco styles ny.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk Coco Styles NYC. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.